Well, hi everybody. I am in our little fixer upper cottage and I thought it would be fun to share a little update with you of what's been happening over the last month or two and the plan of attack for the next month as well. So there have been quite a few behind the scenes things going on as you can tell. It's not finished yet. We hope by mid-April to have um, guests at least staying in here, family at least. And so uh, some of the things that have happened, the attic has been insulated. My husband rented the insulator machine from our local lumber yard um, and just did that in one afternoon with a friend. And so nice that he was able to do that and handy to have him do it himself. And then he also had been sheet rocking for quite some time. Now with this fixture upper cottage, it's 450 square foot from 1900 and it's got some wacky angles to it. So he said it took a lot of tedious time to just get the right cuts, get the right angles. So um, that did take quite a bit, but he just said, I need to get after it, get it done. And so he decided to do some of the sheet rocking himself, which, you know, cuts back on costs when you can do things yourself. Um, okay, then we hired a taper and mutter to tape and mud the sheet rock and a texture too he was the same guy just another local handyman who did an amazing job and so he did all of that for us and got that done within a week's time which was incredible to have that done and then now we have been painting so i shouldn't say we i haven't done any bit of the painting yet my husband and my brother actually did one day and then my husband's been doing it with such a small space it really does not take a lot of time to be honest and so I am going with just a very simple color um, you can probably see it on the walls of the images I've been inserting here it's just a Benjamin Moore white dove it's kind of got a bit of a creaminess to it but I really wanted white because it's such a small space that I didn't want much color of any sort color can come in my decorations and stuff like that if I want much for color but I wanted to keep it super simple and even the ceiling's the same color so that made it very easy just to get one color. We went to Home Depot. We did use the Bear brand but they did the Benjamin Moore White Dove color. Um, and so I'm going to only have two colors in here then I'm going to do our beadboard and probably the shiplap and the trim in Chantilly Lace of Benjamin Moore, which is more of a starker white to contrast a little bit. So yeah, coming up, we'll finish the painting. We decided to actually self-level the floor because like I said, it was built in 1900. It angles in the bathroom and the kitchen, just a slight angle. And so in order to put the cabinets and stuff in, we thought why work so hard on putting those in? to get them flat and just self-level the floor. So we're gonna hire that done and get some self-leveling concrete um, to take care of that probably in a week or so. Hopefully get some of the shiplap up on this wall that you guys are sitting on. And some beadboard, I was gonna beadboard the ceilings, but again, being such an old house, the contractor who was gonna put them up said you could end up seeing all the um, imperfections and the ripples and curves in the wall if you did beadboard and so we just decided to texture it and I will probably put beadboard or board and batten in the bathroom and then beadboard in the on the north wall in the kitchen so that will happen then we'll put some flooring in um, cabinets you know it'll come along rather quickly so we've been buying some supplies locally we've been getting things from home depot with cabinets and stuff i'm not gonna look for any antiques with that and find um, vintage style cupboards and cabinets and stuff that's just a lot of work when we want to get it done so quickly but it is definitely moving along the paint just really helped to make this space look real so so exciting to have that done and hopefully be renting out within a month and a half or so anyways that's the update i'll be hiring an antique hall and antique shop with me for this little place next week tuesday that you can check out if you're interested in that as well anyways hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and i'll talk with you in the next video